All right, who is coming towards you? Gemini. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this doesn't resonate, please check your other placements. Feel free to cross-watch, but don't force anything to fit, okay? Um, some messages may be for you. Some may not. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. All right. Gemini, stick around till the end. I'm going to pull some letters, numbers, zodiac signs to see who it is that's coming towards you. And also, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like, and if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. Let's get into your reading, Gemini, your overall energy right now in love. I don't know why I always want to like sing, because <laughs> I suck at singing. All right, what do we got? What do we got, Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, what do we got for Gemini? What's going on, Gemini? Indecision. That's why the cards wouldn't come out. You don't know what to do. Indecision, storm warning, caring connections, journey, and six chakra, Archangel Metatron, third eye. You could be doing some meditation or really following intuition or getting a lot of messages, seeing signs, synchronicities, hearing songs, hearing or seeing messages, things like that. But you're, you're, you don't know what to do. I feel like there was some kind of a storm or you feel like if you make the, that's what it is. If you make the wrong choice, is it going to turn into like a, another tor tornado situation here? Caring connections and journey. There is somebody possibly that's coming towards you that is a caring connection, but it's like, can you trust it after everything you've been through? Um, I'm seeing fours here, four, four. Look up angel number 44. See if there's a message there for you. I feel like you want something new. You want a new experience, a new journey. You, you want something new, something different, exciting, fun. And someone that cares, you know. Uh, let's see. What's this person about that's coming towards you? Who is this? What's their overall energy for Gemini's person? For the next 30 days, who is coming towards them? Rest and rejuvenate. Okay, so they could be, um, this could be a break. You could be on a break or a separation from somebody. Um, or they're just relaxed. They're a relaxed person. They're getting, getting some Zs, catching up on some rest, rejuvenation. We have woman holding a heart. So it could be man or woman. There's no gender in tarot. I'm seeing number 44 again, you guys. Strong angel number coming through. Woman holding a heart. I feel like this person is ready to give their heart to you. All right, woman or man, whatever. You guys, whatever. Place it where you see fit. All right, I feel like this person's ready. I feel like they're relaxed, they're chill, and they're ready to give love. But there's something, it's more with you, I feel, Gemini. Um, I have attachment here. There could be something that you're just... You really want to learn that lesson, complete the cycle, and, and attract someone who's going to be good for you. You know, none of you've had enough of this, these games, these mind games, heartache, pain. You want someone. You want this caring connection here. Someone who, who will love, nurture, care for this connection and not abuse it and treat you like crap. Ooh, all right, let's see what's going on. Indecision, options, confusion. I feel like that's you. Mm. Ace of Wands, yeah. See, you want, Gemini, something new, something fun, where there's chemistry, attraction, passion. You don't want to be blinded by anything. You don't want to be confused. Uh, you're, you're just, I feel like you're exhausted. You might need this rest and rejuvenation for crying out loud. Let's see. What's your person's current situation? Gemini, what is this person's current situation? Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Seven of Wands. All right. They could be really protective of their energy. You could be dealing with a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This person is definitely laid back. They go with the flow. I feel like they are a protector or they're very protective. Um, I don't think in a crazy controlling way uh, or possessive way. I'm going to have to keep digging in. But um, I feel like whoever they're with, they want that relationship to be protected. They don't want, it's like what you don't want. You know, they don't want someone who's just going to date and 
hook up with whoever and date multiple people and talk to other people. No, I feel like this person wants a protected connection. And I feel like you do too. All right, what else? What's going on? Ugh. What else is going on with this person? Show me clearly. What's going on? Gemini's person. What else is going on? Current energies. Gemini's person. Six of Wands. Yeah, they want victory and success. This person may get a lot of attention. Um, they may be very attractive, good looking, get a lot of attention, but yeah, they don't, um, they want more, something deeper than that. They're, I feel like they are a water sign. I feel like they want a deep connection. They don't want to be in choppy waters. They want things to just flow. They don't want to fight, argue. They don't want that stress. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're in the same boat. I feel like you guys are matching each other's energy here. Uh, what is this person's intentions? What are this person's intentions for Gemini? What are their intentions? All right. We have Page of Swords, Three of Cups. Oh. This could be a friend or a friend of a friend or someone you met through friends. And I feel like now they're looking you up online, seeing what you're about, if you're with anyone. I'm not getting third party vibes. I don't think this person's intentions are to put you in a third party. Um, unless it was something where you started off as a third party and now they're separated from whoever they were connected to if that's messages for you but i feel like it's more of a yeah fun youthful flirty there could be an age difference too between the two of you yeah they're they're kind of like that young youthful adventurous fun that's their intentions i feel like they they don't want to rush in yeah, you have three pages here. They don't want to rush in and like just be in a, a long-term commitment. Like, hey, I like you. You like me. Let's move in together and get married. Like, mm -mm. they're page energy right now. And I feel like you are too. Or they're coming at you as a page because you know they know you've been through it. You know, and they don't want to push too hard. Um, I feel like you've been through a really um, painful ending. They may have as well. So it's like, let's just, you know, I don't want to say like just be friends and see where this goes, but I don't think there's any pressure or rushing. Um, I don't think that, how am I, how do I explain this? It's like you guys are dating and not dating anybody else, but you're not pushing or rushing anything. You know what I mean? You're just going with the flow, see where it goes. All right, what else? Intentions. Yeah, they want to communicate. They want to talk. Adventures. I keep feeling like this person just, both of you want to just go on journeys, do adventures, something like that. Fun, youthful, playful. Yeah. This could be someone from your past coming back for some of you. <laughs> or somebody that you've just been friends with that's kind of turning into something more. And it's just like, let's see where this goes. They know what you've been through. You know what they've been through. So it's like, let's not put pressure on this. Let's just have fun. But be exclusive, you know? So there's no drama. There's no complications. It's you and this person, but you're not, there's no pressure, which is good. All right, what's blocking the two of you? What's blocking the two of you? Somebody might want commitment. Somebody might not want commitment here. I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The lovers. That's your energy. The tower in reverse. Ace of swords. So tower, scorpionic energy, three of wands. All of these are in reverse. Two of swords, three of wands. Um, Gemini, I feel like you are the one that's kind of like... Mm, 
is there attraction? Is, is like, I know about this person. I've heard stories about this person. Is this true? Can I trust them? Will there be a tower moment? I'm not making any decisions right now because I don't want to get hurt. I can't handle another tower because I've been through too many. So I feel like the go with the flow, I don't know, because I was getting that from them too. It's a very go with the flow connection here. It's good though. There's no pressure. You know, it, it is. Again, it is protected. Meaning, I don't think either of you are like out dating other people or looking for a hookup, a one night stand, whatever. I feel like you guys are exclusive with each other. You know, but you're not putting pressure on anything, if that makes any sense. All right, let's see. What's the potential outcome here? What's going to happen for Gemini and this person? I just saw 1111 on the clock. <laughs> That's manifesting a new beginning. All right, what do we got? Potential outcome. Wow, Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. So someone's probably moving on from some sadness, loss, regret, remorse from what they thought was going to be a commitment. It could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. doesn't have to be. I do feel like maybe that's you if you just got out of something that you thought was going to be long term. There's some kind of sadness, loss, regret, remorse there. With this person, High Priestess, very... Um, intuitive connection very spiritually connected here ten of cups ultimate happiness there's emotional fulfillment and ace of pentacles there's the potential for this to actually be very stable and emotionally fulfilling all right what else for gemini Potential outcome here for Gemini. Eight of Wands, communication. I feel like you and this person communicate like very well. Same page, understand each other. All right, Gem, here you are, but you're conflicted. Why are you so, is it because it's like, oh, we were friends and this is weird or I don't want to ruin a friendship and we all have the same friend circle and it, that's too close for comfort, like something like that. But you are planting your seeds here with the intention of some kind of commitment. I don't know if you're trying to attract a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but heavy water is coming towards you for commitment here. I, I feel like it's this person. If it's not, you may have somebody else. But I feel like this, uh, this is gonna turn into commitment. This friendship dynamic here that's going on, it's gonna turn into a commitment. And I feel like you're having that epiphany, that wake up call, that aha moment here. You guys have fun together. You guys laugh, you, you have the same sense of humor, you like the same things. Communication is like on point here. I, I feel like it's gonna turn to a commitment. All right, let's see. Biggest obstacles. We have rebirth, transformation, scorpionic energy, and the source. Yeah, this is all being divinely guided here. <laughs> you guys are supposed to cross paths in this lifetime. Just saying. I feel like this is going to be a, a game changer for you. It's going to be one of those stories where, like, you look back and you're like, I got to marry my best friend or I got to be with my best friend, you know, for for the rest of my life. I feel like it's that kind of a connection. All right, let's see what's going on. 
one of you guys is still like on the fence. I feel like it's you, but it could be reversed and flip flopped. Okay. Uh, material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. You could work together. You could want the same material things. You know, you're attracted to the same material things. All right. Spring, your love is blooming. See, this is blossoming. Separation, no contact, 5D, dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness. That's this attachment that you need to let go and heal from. This person may have been that shoulder that you cried on or that person you ran to. You were settling for this other person that put you in a dark energy. All right, that was settling. You were, you were staying stuck to somebody who didn't deserve you. And I feel like this person was your comfort zone. I think it's going to turn into more than that. Um, potential, fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless. This has crazy potential. It, it just does. <laughs> All right, let's see. What else do we have for Gemini? What else do we have for Gemini? This person's ready to give you their heart. You know, I feel like they're ready. They're just kind of waiting on you. Patience, you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Patience, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for you in this, you know? I feel like you're standing your ground. You're not staying stuck in a karmic cycle. I feel like this person's got your back, you know? Self-love, you realize that love of self is necessary to love another. Yep. And that could be what you're doing. That could be what both of you guys are doing, you know? You got to love yourself first before you can love somebody else because you can't, you can't depend on somebody else to love you to fulfill your cup. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to love yourself. Action, you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Yep, yep. All right, let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. If their first and last name starts with the same letter, feel free to double it because I only have one of each. All right, what do we got for Gemini? We have P L X Q M N S H Y B R I Z V O. All right, so P L X Q M N S R H Y B I Z V O. Let's get some numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, date you guys met, date of significance, angel numbers, and age. Place it where you see fit. Could be months, days, weeks, years. All right, we have one, three, seven, ten. So the first. 3rd, 7th, or 10th of any month, the 13th, the 17th, we have number 73, 71, 37, 31, uh, could be January, March, July, or October. Zodiac signs, could be their sun sign, could be strong placements in their chart, or it could happen during that season, all right, so like Gemini season, for instance. All right, we have Cancer, Aries, Libra, Libra, so double Libra. Uh, Taurus. Aries, Cancer, Libra, Taurus. There was a double Libra. Could be any sign, you guys. I had heavy water coming in. Cancer came up. Could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, could be any sign. There was other signs that came out too. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be anyone. But place it where you see fit, Gemini. All right, that is what I have for you. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below if you'd like. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, information's in the description box below. And until next time, Gemini, love and light. Take care.